Gorgeous yesterday, <laughs> certainly still looking much better today than what you're dealing with in the traffic department. It is going to be a cooler day compared to what we had yesterday. But it's still a nice early March day. Satellite and radar were dry. We have some broken cloud cover around and mostly clear skies in Indianapolis, where the temperature has dropped to 38. 35 in Peru, a little warmer to the south, 45 in Bedford. But there is a wind chill out there, making it feel about uh, five degrees cooler than it actually is in several locations. So I'd recommend that heavier coat for you as you're heading out this morning or for those kids heading to the bus stop. We hit 76 yesterday. That smashed the record high of 71 for the date. And while we'll be cooler today, temperatures into the afternoon rising into the mid 50s are still going to be above average. Typically this time of year, we see high temperatures peaking in the mid 40s. We'll see mid 40s again as we head towards the 8 o'clock hour, lower 40s late this evening. Then we'll be talking about rain. We want to spend a good bit of time preparing you for what we have coming our way tomorrow as a flood watch has already been issued for central Indiana. It'll be in effect 1 a.m. Friday through 1 a.m. on Saturday. So we're dry today until we get into the evening hours. But even then, this is 9 o'clock on Future View. I'd say at this time we'll only see a few spotty showers off in our south, southwest counties. But as we head past midnight, this all ramps up very quickly. So by 1 a.m., I'd say these showers are getting closer to the I-70 corridor. We are all looking rather wet as we get towards the morning commute tomorrow. This is 6 a.m. I'd say we could see a few thunderstorms, a couple of gusty, maybe stronger storms at this time too, with the more favorable locations to see that off in our southern counties. Now, once we get into the afternoon, that thunderstorm threat decreases, but the rain threat itself really increases. It's going to be very windy and the rain will be coming down in buckets. This is noon and we will be seeing pockets of very heavy rainfall on through the afternoon. You see those bright reds and those dark reds. And then as we get into the late afternoon here, this is 2:30, almost 3 o'clock. That'll start pulling off to the east and into the evening as we start mixing some cold air in. We could see a transition from I-70 north over to some wet snowflakes. Not expecting much impacts from that, but that's still something you could encounter. Really, the major story for tomorrow it's going to be the rain and the wind and that isolated strong to severe storm threat. That threat in the morning, the rain all into the afternoon as well, with rainfall totals three, maybe even up to four inches in some locations and winds gusting up to 50 miles an hour, non thunderstorm related will be possible as well. So again, use a lot of extra caution as you're planning out your day tomorrow. You need some time, extra time on the roads as well. 54 for the high today, 52 for the high temperature tomorrow. Messy close to the week, but a quiet weekend ahead. Saturday and Sunday, we are looking dry, a mix of sun and clouds. 48 on Saturday, 56 on Sunday, and Melissa, we are back into the 60s on Monday, so we'll get another more spring-like day ahead.